Payday 2 is a game all about skipping college and robbing banks and trains and other places that are full of loot. It's also kind of ironic because of how much time I've spent on this game, college is becoming less and less of an option. <coughs> anyway, I want to explain to you how to play this game. So buckle your shirt, button up your seatbelt, and get out your pencil because this is gonna get complicated. Step blue. Because numbers are overrated. Weapons. This video is all about stealth. So you want to go discreet. There's something on each weapon called concealment. Basically, the more concealment, the less people notice you. So as much fun as it would be to go into a bank wearing decked out flak armor, a tommy gun, a baseball bat, and a high caliber sniper rifle, that's for another day. I'm always going to be suppressed and I usually use a melee weapon of choice. I'm going to be 100% real with you. It's a hard pick when they give me choices like the baseball bat, boxing gloves, a swagger stick, a briefcase. You can even hit people with money. I'm not joking. Step green! PICK DRAGON AS A CHARACTER! You are gonna be a quiet, solo thief who may have to talk his way through some situations, and Dragon is probably the most charismatic, charming fellow I've ever heard. We all fine here, Control. How are you? <laughs> hello, hello, Krvatska. Krvatska Banda. Radio Krvatska, Beograd. <laughs> Stuff up. Step four, missions. All right, now we're gonna move on to the actual missions. You know, the, the game part of the game. The blue ghost-like thing next to a mission means that you can complete it in absolute stealth and vice versa. Today we're focusing on only those with the ghost. There are many missions like bank heist, election day, art gallery, which is more like fart gallery. Am I right? It's a joke. You're you're supposed to laugh because it's it's like fart, which sounds like art. It's supposed to be fun. Bank heist. Firstly, I'm gonna run through the bank heist, as that title suggests. You're solo and you probably suck, so I'd suggest the lowest difficulty. Now, you're supposed to go into this place, hijack cameras, kill every single guard so that no cops are called, and then keep every civilian at bay. If you do it right, then you can have nobody in the entire bank notice. Granted, you still have to kill every single cop. Remember when I said something about skipping college because of how time-consuming this game is? Well, here, here we go. Okay, the drill's done. Time to reap the benefit. Oh, come on! Thank God. Time to get this money into the van. Alright, now you can leave, but there's a bunch of deposit boxes that you can open to get additional loot. But I've already wasted enough time. I shouldn't. I'm gonna. Do you see that? <clears throat> that is my life. That's the time of my life just taking away. Every second could have been dedicated to something wonderful. Good thing it was! I'm friggin' rich now! What? Four stores? So this guy Vlad is all like, rob four stores quietly. I'm sorry Vlad, but how do four highly populated stores full of okay amounts of cash ever sound like a quiet job? Shh. You can't see me. No, you can't see- Okay! Jewelry store. This one's simple. Really, you just gotta kill all the guards and break as much glass as you can until someone calls the police and I wish I was joking, but that's the best way to go about it. The diamond! A mission so tedious that I've literally never completed it stealthily. I just get lazy and complete it the loud way after a few attempts. So you make your way into this gigantic museum of full of garbage and go downstairs. Take two hostages and hold one of the key cards to get inside of the diamond room. You are to take out four electrical boxes to disable the alarms. Then, when you fail that, the alarm will sound and try again. Do it all again. Fail before you get inside the building. Do it all again. Find all four electrical boxes. Get caught while putting the key card in. Do it all again. Cry a little. Become more aggressive. Get all four. Get found because you're incompetent! Screw it! We're going loud! Then you go and do the normal mission, which is the loud version, where you download a key card. 99 seconds! Oh my- Get the key card. Push to the diamond. Swing, bada bada! Keep moving! Too many SWAT team members! Give them a gift! Put the mock key card in place! More waiting! Open the door! Now this part gets tricky. These tiles have a specific path, and if you use this fuse box, you can find the right path. Just follow the green tiles. Okay, good, good. Keep checking your work. Fail because you suck! Wait like another minute, come back, drill, more waiting, get that diamond, skip everything, get the diamond in the chopper, leave! God, that was worth it. And that is all the time I have for this episode, and I mean that in the most literal sense possible. Like, this game takes up so much time that I actually have to end the video here. Don't worry though, this is not my last payday video, at least I hope not, because there's so much potential for this game. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon!